I'm starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness because that's when stars shine brightest. If you've been looking on our website, starborninstitute.org, you'd already know that the title of tonight's show is Pros and Cons. And that's because the planets are set up in a way where you may be thinking about your future and having to make some thoughtful decisions about it. And there can be some very positive aspects that could encourage you with that. But on the other hand, and those are the pros, but on the other hand, there are also some adverse aspects that represent some challenging risks, and those are the cons. And so it's good before you make a decision if you consider sort of both sides of something, and that can be done rather easily right now. And so the first thing that can give you a good choice about your future is because that sun is in the sign of the future, Aquarius, and it is beautifully trined uh, by the moon today in Libra. And those two planets, the lights, are trining the sign of Gemini as well. So this is a wonderful time for you to be thinking about your future plans or possibilities. You might also be wanting to consider a partnership or you can be thinking about doing something that involves some legal work of one kind or another. You could also uh, be presenting your plans or your ideas to someone who's very nice that would be eager to assist you in one way or another. And that would be a good consideration of yours because when you've got a partner or a helpmate, it makes the work a lot easier. And then there could also be just some very good news pertaining to your future because Gemini does rule news and the sun and the moon are trining that sign. So all of that is uh, uh, something very positive. Another thing that can be really positive is that Mars is in Sagittarius still. It's at 28 degrees. It's about to leave Sagittarius, but it's there, and it is trining Venus in Aries. And Aries rules new beginnings, and Mars is the ruler of Aries, so it's in good aspect to the sign it rules. And when Mars and Venus are trining each other, generally people can be getting along a lot better and be more cooperative. And then those two planets are also trining the sign of Leo. And Leo rules uh, fun. So this is a time when there could be fun and romance and a new beginning, which all looks very possible right now. So, uh, because they're so well favored. So that is another thing that can help you uh, move forward with your future plans. A third aspect is very positive as well and it is among the earth signs and that's because Uranus in Taurus, a fixed financial sign, is beautifully trined by three planets in Capricorn, Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto. And together those four planets are trining the sign of Virgo as well. And so there can be some really good cooperation uh, among people who are very experienced and who have good financial advice and also there can be an improvement in your health as well. Virgo rules health, but it's a mental sign. So there could be an improvement in your mental health as well as your physical health. And that could lead to better future plans for you as well. So all of those aspects are the pros or the positive aspects that can get you going toward your future plans and they can help you in a very positive way. However, there can be some challenging risks as well. And that is something that you should consider too. Because no matter how positive things look, if there are a few risks involved, then it comes down to sort of a question of timing. And perhaps with, uh, if you're facing a risk, you may decide to delay some future plan right now and wait for a better time. Well, there's nothing wrong with that because that means you wouldn't be risking anything. So for instance, one of the biggest things that can represent a risk right now to your future is the fact that there are five planets in a harsh T-cross among the cardinal signs. Well, that wonderful gentle moon in Libra 
is being opposed by that loving planet Venus, which is in Aries. And because they are opposing each other, that simply means that some people cannot be too sure of their emotions right now. And so you need to make sure that you are real sincere or you're dealing with other really sincere people. And the reason why that's important is because these two planets are being harshly squared by three dominant planets in the Earth signs, Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto in Capricorn. And when um, Saturn and Venus square or oppose each other, that is an indication of a betrayal. It might be a betrayal at work since Capricorn is a business sign ruling large corporations and government agencies as well. And it might be a betrayal that involves somebody who's pretty high up, such as your boss, or uh, somebody who is the head of a business or a government agency. And the betrayal could be, be done by them or it could be done to them. And so um, you need to sort of watch out for that because if there is a betrayal, even uh, something as, uh, as commonplace as a budget cut could actually delay or even cancel a new beginning. And so that is a possible risk and you need to consider that. Another risk could come from the fact that that Uranus in Taurus, that fixed financial sign, is being harshly squared by the sun in Aquarius. Well, Uranus is the ruler of Aquarius, and yet it's in harsh aspect to the sign it rules. So that simply means that your future plans could be subject to change due to much higher costs right now, or due to a shortfall in revenues. In other words, there could, there could be a fluctuation in, your, in the value of your investments, or there could be some money that you were expecting to come in and it hasn't quite arrived and so that could represent a shortfall and that could influence the outcome or even delay your future plans. The third risk that you need to be aware of is that Mars in Sagittarius is being squared by Mercury and Neptune in Pisces. And uh, Mercury is a planet that represents communication and news. Pisces represents things that are behind the scenes, hidden. And so there could be more alarming news that is revealed right now about things that are occurring behind the scenes. And when that alarming news comes out, that too could delay or postpone or simply negate the best intentions of some group. In other words, if you belong to a group that has a lot of really good future plans and you've been careful about that and you know, you've checked everything twice, still, if there's more news coming out that is alarming, that could uh, change your plans in one way or another. So you need to consider that challenge as well. And that is, it's wise for you to consider the pros and the cons right now because very soon, within a week or two, two planets are going to make changes and they're really going to affect us. One of the changes is that Mercury, which is in Pisces, is going to go retrograde. It'll go back in its orbit over a ground it's already covered before and that is when it will pick up even more alarming news. Hmm, maybe you should wait for the, all the news to come out first. The other thing that is changing is that a planet is going to change signs and that's because Mars is at 28 degrees of Sagittarius now and it's going to leave and go into Capricorn. And it is exalted in Capricorn. It's even stronger in Capricorn than it is in the signs it rules. And it's joining Saturn, the ruler of that sign, and Jupiter and Pluto as well. And all four of those planets will trine the sign of Uranus in Taurus. And that is probably going to indicate, since Saturn is a, a planet that is known as the taskmaster, and it, remember, it's the ruler of Capricorn and it's at home there, it simply means that there can be some very tough terms that are enforced upon those people who have failed to live up or to fulfill their duties according to the very highest standards. And since they may have failed at doing that, 
there could be a severe reprimand or something even worse, some very tough terms. And there could also be tough terms in any kind of business negotiation or contract negotiation when these planets go into the Earth signs. So I think that this is a time when if you at least consider the pros and cons in your future plans, you'll be able to make better decisions about not only your plans, but when to go ahead with them as well, the timing of them. All right, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, this is a time with Venus in your sign when you can sure be looking good. And of course you can be in the mood for fun. And that's because Mars in Sagittarius is trying in your sun, so you might want to take a trip. Or it might be that you just want to go to some party. And by the way, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, so you could be looking forward to a good weekend because um, the Venus in your sign and Mars in Sagittarius are trining the sign of Leo as well, which does rule parties. So this can be a very positive time for you, particularly if you're thinking of making a new beginning yourself, which would be good. But you better make sure you've got all your ducks in a row, Aries, because your sign is being squared by Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto in Capricorn, and it's being opposed by that gentle moon in Libra. So there could be a little legal hassle or a little a legal hang up somewhere in your life. And it, it simply is something that you more or less have to pay attention to, not because it's a big deal, but because if you skip it, you will be sorry for that. You'll have to go back and redo something. And that's because you will have to conform to very uh, strict rules about in business or in government right now. So go ahead and party this weekend if you want to, Aries, but you've really got to pay attention to business as well. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, this is a time when your future plans can be just a little bit threatened because Uranus in your sign is being squared by that sun in Aquarius right now, which rule, and that's a sign that rules the future. So you've really got to make sure that you've got the money in your hand uh, before you attempt a future plan, Taurus. And it can be that there can be sudden fluctuations in the values of your investments, or it can be that there is a shortfall in your revenues right now. It might be due to the fact that it's almost tax time and you might have to pay more taxes as well, or that the cost of living is getting to you. So I think that you need to be very, very careful with uh, your, re your financial resources right now, Taurus. And it doesn't mean that your future plans cannot be uh, well supported by others because the three planets in Capricorn are trining your sun. But it simply means that if you, if you really don't have the money in your hand, I wouldn't exactly count on it until it gets there. And that's why you might want to look at the cons or the risks before you go ahead with something and not be too impulsive right now. Okay, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, your future is looking very bright, and that's because the sun in Aquarius is trining your sun, and so is the moon in Libra. That means there can be some favorable legal news coming your way, Gemini, and there could also be a very nice person who's delivering that news. In other words, a prospective partner or somebody who's a very nice helpmate in one way or another, and they could be eager to help you with your future plans, which is great. So there can be good news coming, either about a legal matter or simply good news about your future, Gemini. But for right now, I would hesitate a little bit about putting your plans into place. You could continue to work on them, maybe polish them a little bit more, that would be great. But actually, Mars in Sagittarius is still opposing your sun sign. In another week, it won't be doing that. But the, you still need to keep your guard up because there are people around that would like to harm you or would like to defeat you in one way or another, um, perhaps because they're jealous of you. But that is why you would pay you to hesitate right now. Continue to refine your plans, but you might want to wait, uh, say, another week uh, just to see what the fallout is from people 
who have to meet very high standards right now. And if they haven't done that, I'm not thinking it's you, but if other people have not done that, there will be uh, some tough terms that will be enforced upon them. Maybe you should wait and see what comes of all that before you decide what to do next. It won't bother you to wait. What does it mean to a cancer? Well, cancer, this is a time when you might want to be extra cautious. And the reason why is that there are five planets in a harsh T-square among the cardinal signs. And yours is a cardinal sign. And so Venus in Aries is squaring your sun. The moon, your own ruler in Libra, is squaring your sun. And three planets in Capricorn, Jupiter, Saturn, and a Pluto in Capricorn are opposing your sun sign. And by next week, when Mars goes into Capricorn, there will be more planets there. And so a Cancer, it is nothing that has to do, I, I don't think you're doing anything, I don't think you're at fault at anything, but you are really going to be facing some challenging risks right now. Some of them could be legal. Some of them could be uh, due to matters beyond your control, such as a corporate change or a change in government policy or a change in management or in budgets. Maybe you don't have anything to do with that, but you could be affected by that. Or it can simply be that uh, some people uh, want to enforce the rules right now and they would be very strict about it and you would have to adhere to that as well and that could make you a little uncomfortable. So, Cancer, if you're thinking of making a new start and you're forming future plans, I encourage you to keep working on that. But at the same time, you need to be a little bit cautious about what's happening around you so that you are able to uh, sort of go with the flow right now and not cause any big problems. Because I think you're going to have to face problems that you haven't caused and do something about them as well. So just hang on to your future plans, uh, Cancer. They still will occur. Uh, there's an eclipse in your sign this summer and a second new moon. So there are going to be favorable changes, but perhaps not at the moment. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, this is a time when, oh boy, you could be in the mood for a party or for fun and tomorrow is Valentine's Day and romance is ruled by your sign Leo because your sign rules love affairs and children and sports and glamour and the entertainment field and uh, uh, leadership and so you can be anticipating a lot of fun because Venus and Aries is trining your sun so there could be a new beginning on your horizon uh, Leo and it would look very inviting and then Mars is in Sagittarius, also trining your sun. So I think that you're going to be sort of on the go right now, Leo, and anticipating new things eagerly. And that's just great. Except that there is that nasty little question, mm, how much is it all going to cost? And where are you going to get the money, Leo? That could be a question that you need to sort of stop and ask yourself about. Because just like Taurus, if it's not in your hand, you may not be able to count on that, and that could uh, delay or even postpone or cancel your future plans. So you have to be real careful to conserve your financial resources right now. Don't spend too much. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, this is a time when you certainly are going to be able to follow through with um, uh, policies that have been set in place that require people to meet the highest standards that they should be meeting. You're going to be a person that already is probably doing that, and so you may even receive some praise or accolades from people that are pretty high up. It could be your boss's boss, or it could be an organization that you belong to that where you could sort of boost your public reputation right now based on the your reliability and the things that you have already accomplished. In other words, based on merit. So that would be good. I think that you may also be asked to work a little harder, not because you don't work hard enough now, Virgo, but because there can be other duties coming up that may be given to you, either in the form of a promotion or simply that people need your help. 
And you are always eager to respond to anyone's need for help. So you might be pretty busy uh, in the following weeks. And therefore, some of your future plans may have to be put on hold for a while uh, just because they could be delayed uh, temporarily. So you have that to look forward to. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, this is a time when you, you can almost do no wrong, Libra, and that's because the moon is in your sign, so there's a lot of light on you. But also the sun in Aquarius is trining that moon in your sign. So this is an excellent time for you to be making future plans. And you could get some good news about your future plans or just some good news about the future anyway. And so you have a lot to look forward to, Libra. At the same time, there's a harsh T-cross among the cardinal signs, which means that wonderful moon in your sign is being opposed by Venus, your own ruler in Aries. And that means there is a little bit of a question or, or because a new beginning can be sort of up in the air right now for one reason or another. It may be that it's not really quite ready to launch. And that's because Saturn, Pluto, and um, Jupiter in Capricorn are squaring your sun sign as well, and they're squaring Venus in Aries. So there's gonna be a betrayal somewhere around you. I don't think it's happening to you, Libra, but it is gonna happen somewhere around you. And I think that you should not make a decision about your future until the dust settles and things calm down a little bit, particularly in other people's lives. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, this is a time when I think that you two, just like the other fixed signs, are going to have to be a little bit careful with the money, Scorpio. And the reason why is that the sun in Aquarius is squaring your sun sign and Uranus in Taurus is opposing your sun sign. So you run the risk of perhaps uh, looking at higher costs right now or a shortfall in revenues. And so as you're making your future plans, you really should not take a step forward right now until you can be very sure that the money is in your hands. Not money that you borrow, not money that people say is coming, but is actually in your hands. So I would suggest that you delay some future plan right now until you are more stable about your financial resources and you should even have a little extra bank account around somewhere or a cushion in case costs exceed your expectations. So uh, just put something off until you feel a little bit more secure financially. Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarius? Well, Sagittarius, Mars is coming to the end of your sign and it, by next week it will be gone. Oh, that will be a relief for you, Sagittarius. But for right now, mm, I think you're going to have a happy Valentine's Day tomorrow because that Mars in your sign is being beautifully trined by Venus and Aries, which means that the, a new beginning is looking very possible for you and for someone else. And so I think that you're going to be involved in that in a very positive way. But at the same time, I wouldn't rush forward too quickly, Sagittarius, because Mercury and Neptune in Pisces are squaring your sun, which means there can be more alarming news revealed about activities behind the scenes. And it may pay you to learn more truth about things before you decide to rush into something. So I would caution you to get a little more comfortable with the real facts about something before you go ahead. Uh, that way you won't be making any mistakes. Okay, what does it mean to a uh, Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, this is an excellent time for you to be planning for steady progress. And that is because Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto are in your sign right now. They're trining Uranus in Taurus. And yes, they're being squared by the moon in uh, Aries and also are the moon in Libra and by Venus in Aries right now, which means that not all of your relationships are running smoothly at the moment, but still you need to concentrate on business, Capricorn, because Mars is about to come into your sign and that is going to make you very powerful. And that is when, when you have all the facts and when you're in charge of what you wanna do, then you should go forward. And that also involves knowing that you've got the money solidly in place before you begin something new. 
So I would say that this is a time when you just need to keep gathering your resources and build up your strength because you're going to be using that power in a shorter time as next week. So this is a time when, yes, the future is looking good for you, but you really need to make sure everything's in place first. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, the sun is in your sign, and today it is beautifully trining the moon in Libra. So I think there is good news about your future, Aquarius. And that is because both of the lights are trining the sign of Gemini as well. So there could be some good news about young people in, or in your neighborhood or your pals and buddies at work. There could be something sort of fun. You could even be contemplating taking a short trip. All of that would work out just fine. The thing that you could be looking at as a challenging risk is that Uranus and Taurus is squaring your sun sign. And that means that your finances could fluctuate. Even if you have great future plans, this is not the time to spend a lot of money on them, Aquarius, because costs could go up. And so you need to think a little bit of conserving your financial resources, not spending them. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, this is a time when I think that you can be full of good ideas, you can be thinking a lot about your past and your past activities and your past hopes and wishes. And you may be planning uh, for a better future because that sun in Aquarius is right behind your sun sign and it rules the future and it's being trined by the moon in Libra. So you could have your mind not only on yourself and how you wanna maybe make some changes as you go forward, but you can be thinking of uh, some future plan behind the scenes. The question is, how much is it going to cost? And that's something that you may not really have a handle on yet, Pisces. So you need to really look at what you want to do. And I think what you need to do is assign a cost to everything you want to do. And then if you don't have enough money, just try to do one small segment at a time, sort of as a pay-as-you-go plan. And that way you'll succeed. Uh, so you could give that a thought. All right, thanks so much. Remember, you can see the show and read our blog on our website, starborninstitute.org. Bye.